my guys? Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a 2012 Skytrack 8042 telescopic forklift. This machine has cabin heat. It has 4,306 hours. It is powered by a Cummins QSB 3.3 liter four-cylinder turbo engine. Search and run is excellent. There's no abnormal noise, smoke, blow by, anything of that nature that we have found. Um, machine is all original on the orange paint. We did paint the, the hubs and... Um, the wheels. Um, I have ordered for this machine two Skytrack decals that go on the boom on both sides and the model number tags that say 8042. They were just scratched up, but we decided we would replace those. And in the current shutdown, we can't get them from JLG at this period of time, uh, but they will be here. They're telling me hopefully next week. Um, so we'll have those installed before the machine is sold. So the purpose of this video today is we're going to start running the machine, show it everything works. We'll run the boom, clear out. I'll get iron lift up on another machine with it, show you all the steering functions work the way they're supposed to. This machine has about $9,500 worth of solid boss, 1,324 uh, pneumatics, or I'm, I'm sorry, solid tires that have the cross drilled cushion holes in them. Uh, very nice set of tires. Uh, very nice machine. You'll never have a flat on the job site. This is the newer of the Sky Tracks. Uh, the older ones had the smaller rear hubs and the ZF rear ends. This has the big matching hubs in both. Uh, I own two of these that I use here in our yard every day of the week. These are a heck of a good machine. So come on this direction. I'll take you right in here. Again, Cummings QSB, uh, four cylinder, turbo diesel engine, starts and runs good. Uh, no oil leaks that we have found. Uh, there's no, there was no major blow by, anything of that nature whatsoever. Uh, nothing abnormal. We've done a complete and full service. It does have a block heater. Uh, so air filters, fuel, um, engine oil obviously, hydraulic filters have all been changed. We've checked the planetaries. Everything there is good and taken care of. So when I bought this machine, this back door was, was damaged. The back door had somebody run into something about right here. I bought this door from JLG. I had $850 in a brand new back door. I went ahead, I changed it. Uh, I wanted it to be right, and that's, that's what I did. So, radiator, hydraulic core, battery. On this door, they had basically welded two little ratchet or two little straps, gumby straps. Uh, we had removed those and touched that paint up right there. Okay, counterweight's in good shape. You can see up here, everything is nice and clean uh, and straight on the boom. Nothing is welded, aftermarket anything, in very, very nice shape. All four tires match. Very leveling system works, all wheel steer works. So, cab door in very nice shape, has a new style side window in it. Uh, these doors actually used to split about right here. They went to this side window. The door is not rusted out, anything like that. A little ding right here in the side panel. I uh, want everybody to know that. We'll take you inside the cab here in a second. Again, rubber all matches. There's no cylinder leaks. Boom pads are in very good condition. Chains are in good condition. All the lights work, including a revolving light on the roof. It does have windshield wiper and wiper on the top. 48 inch power forks, 60 inch wide carriage, auxiliary hydraulics, and it does have the Skytrack quick tack system on the pallet forks. Some normal so some scratches here on the, the sheet metal. I want everybody to know that. A couple little dings here on this breather that just draws in fresh air. Hydraulic tank, fuel tank in the air is straight. The orange on the machine is actually incredibly nice condition. So let's take you inside the cab here real quick. Inside the cab, not rusted, rotted, anything of that nature whatsoever. Couple of cracks in the seat. 4,300, six hours. There's no error codes coming up on the machine or warning lights to show you. Three-speed, power shift, or four-speed, four-speed forward, three-speed reverse. Um, we'll show you here, wiper, fog wiper. Auxiliary hydraulics, uh, fluid for the windshield. These are your controls for your boom. Heat works. All the glasses in the cab. All the rear view mirrors are good. 
turn that back over. We're going to go ahead, fire it back up. I'll put all the lights on. I'm going to run it around, put it through all its paces, show you everything works the way it's supposed to. Here we go.
2012, this does not have emissions on it. Um, 2012 would be just the start of the 3.3s having a, um, a core up on them, but there is no, no DPF, no urea, um, still blows black smoke just like mine do. I have the same engine in both of mine. Um, I love my Skytrack. We were always a petty bone people here for years. I own two petty bones. Uh, you know, we've always kept two telehandlers here. We use them again every day. Um, and I had two petty bones for years. I bought the very first Skytrack 8042 probably 10 years ago. Um, and I sold my petty bones and I own two Skytrack 8042s. They are a very comfortable running machine. Uh, they're strong. It's amazing. Like an 8K, we, we lift dead skid loaders here, you know, throughout the whole week, every week. It'll weigh 10, 11,000 pounds, and the 8K will pick it up and go with it like it's nobody's business. Um, you know, the big thing about Skytracks were they are a JLG company. Um, they're a well-built machine, and, you know, people right here in America, uh, in the United States, Pennsylvania is where they built them at for years. Now they're out in Ohio, but um, actually a childhood uh, friend of mine and a high school graduate friend, uh, he worked on the Skytrack line for many years, and they are a, they're a well-built, tough machine. They're a very tough machine. And, um, but again, if you're looking for something that's pre-admissions, doesn't have a particulate filter on it, uh, something with a very expensive set of tires, it's never going to go flat on a job, uh, cabin heat, uh, something that's clean, here's something for you to take a look at. So, and we did pick up the rear end of a 154, which I'll have coming up for sale here hopefully next week. So if you got any question on this 2012 JLG 8042, Telescopic reach forklift, 8,000 pound capacity, uh, 4,306 hours. Please let us know. If you need a trucking quote, let us know. We'll be glad to get you that. Please understand you are going to need to find a loading dock or something like this. This machine's going to weigh about 28,000 pounds and you'll need access to a dock. So but we'll gladly get you a quote. Let us know your needs and we'll help you out. So if you got any questions, 814 658 3066. Keep in mind, a new one of these machines today is probably close to $150,000. Uh, so I'm set well in my price. But again, if you've got any questions, 814-658-3066. As always, thank you very much for checking out Mark Supply Company. Have a great day.